guys, I'm Amber Houston and this is vlog number eight, chapters 11 and 12. So this evening, this vlog is gonna be teaching us a little bit about social media and journalism and how we take our multimedia content and then apply it to the web. So first of all, let's learn a little bit about the journalistic formula. The journalistic formula is basically the way us as journalists gather our news and then go out and give it to our audience. So basically, we are gonna be learning about how we grew to change the journalistic formula. So how did the journalistic formula change? Well, social media is what changed it. So think about life before social media came along. There were a lot of things within the formula that were done very differently back then. So for example, our text actually says that the journalistic formula went for nearly a century before it was changed. And what changed it? Social media is what changed it. So back then there were actually a lot of cons. Um, for example, the major change of scenery. For so example, when something first happens, the scene is the most important part because it's the setting. So it took journalists a while to actually be able to go to the scene. So by the time they got there, the scene had changed from the way that it originally was. And that can majorly impact the story when we as journalists don't have the originality from the scene. Another main thing is the cleanup of quotes. We always want to make sure that we don't change too much of what our source said because we always want to get exactly what they said even if it's not exactly the way that we want it that always gives our story originality not to clean up quotes too much so how can we go about putting this content on the web well notice that in broadcast whenever you watch a story air on the news they never have a photo gallery so what is a photo gallery a photo gallery is when you take a bunch of still images and you put them all together that way with the simple click of a button somebody can scroll through all your pictures so why is this never aired on tv well because on broadcast they have to abide by a strict time limit they're, so they're rushing against the clock trying to get their story out there whenever it airs on TV. But when we're on the web, we don't have to abide by time codes so we can give our audiences as many pictures as they like through our photo galleries. So guys, I hope that this has helped you have a deeper understanding about social media and journalism and how to put your content on the web. For your Converge News production, I'm Amber Houston.